turn himself in, but we're going to need something in return. <laughs> well, that's pushing it, Tay. I mean, even for you. I'm simply giving my client the best representation I can. But you're dictating terms, and your client's negotiating position, it's pretty much non-existent. You haven't heard our request. I think it's pretty reasonable, given the circumstances surrounding the investigation. All right, let's hear it. The murder charge... Victors? Todd will come in once it's dropped. LT, just the man I'm looking for. Kind of busy right now, big man. The Victor Lord murder? Could be. I got some information. What kind of information? The kind you should hear before anybody else does. So who killed you, brother of mine? We're twins, right? Aren't we supposed to have some kind of spooky connection? Blair? Taya? Guess again. No. Don't be so negative, son. I know you've missed me. The murder charge doesn't hold anymore, Commissioner. But that's not your call, Taya. The lion's share of evidence against Todd is Jack's eyewitness account, which has now been shot full of holes by Shane Morasco. Yeah, but just because Jack didn't see anything, that doesn't mean that Todd didn't shoot Victor. He had a motive. Now, we have a recording on Sean Evans' phone. And it was made just before Victor was shot. And it might be the proof that Todd was the one that killed him. So I think you're being a little bit premature, Taya. Yeah? What? That phone has Victor's voice on it? Yeah. I need to hear it. You're not bringing me another voicemail, are you? Why? Well, for the record... Jack Manning didn't overhear the murder. He, uh, he knew about the voicemail because, uh, he overheard you and Star talking. He then pretended to have first-hand knowledge of the crime. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Damn, I hate the fact that kid played me out like that. Yeah, I just hate that kid, but... Hey, look, maybe you'll make up for it, right? You know, with the information you're gonna tell me, have a seat. Well, I can't guarantee it's gonna lead anywhere. I don't know the guy that well. What guy? Well, I ran into Vimal Patel at Capcom last night. I got a feeling you might know something. Oh, yeah? Like what? Well, we started talking about the murder. Then he said he thought a cop might have done it. An LVD cop? He was a little freaked out, man. Did he tell you why he thought the shooter was a cop? Whoever did Victor used a 9mm, right? Yeah. Standard issue at the LPD? But I told him to forget it. There's no way one of your boys could be behind something like this. This is not happening. Why? Because you shot me? I shot you. I shot you dead. And yet, here I am. No, you're in my head. Get out of my head, Irene. Sorry. As long as you draw breath, so do I. No, you don't. And there are people in this world who care about me, and they're helping me. And you're not a part of that. What can they do that I can't? Star helped me get out of jail. Blair dug a bullet out of me. And Tay is going to make sure that I don't go to jail for a murder that I didn't commit. Oh. Is she now? Yes, she is. It's all your work to frame me for Victor's murder. It's a waste of time. The cop's case is falling apart as we speak. I'm gonna walk. <laughs> you may not go to prison, but you won't walk away. A guilty man never escapes. Not really. All right. What was that about? He had a tip on, uh, on Victor Lord's murder. Anything good? I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to work on it a little bit. Can I help? Maybe. Uh, 
How are things between uh, you and your, your buddy Vimmel? Well, he's not exactly a buddy. Yeah, I didn't think so. I, well, you guys got into it the other day in the station, didn't you? We had a difference of opinion. Not a big deal. Why? Did he say something? He thinks it was a cop that killed Victor. A cop? He's full of it, John. Probably. That guy lies about everything, but, um, well, Victor was killed with a 9mm. So, but a lot of people shoot 9mm. Well, I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's just play this one by the book. Let's, let's clear everyone on the force, including you. I'm not going to contaminate the evidence. I need to listen to that voicemail. You have a transcript. You know what it's Reading said. it is not the same thing. I need to listen to it. And you're going to have to wait till the next phase of discovery. Oh, please. It's my husband. This is the last time I'll ever hear his voice. Tia, come on. We both know what he says and why. Do you want your last memory of Victor to be the way he died? What are you talking about? What is it you think I have to be guilty about? Did it slip your mind? That's all right. I'm here to remind you to keep you honest. You're my conscience? <laughs> no. I, I don't need you. I've got my own. For once in my life, it's finally clear. Even though you killed your own mother. I was protecting my family. And Victor? I didn't kill Victor. Do you admit that you considered it? Hell yeah, I considered it. You even armed yourself? Prepared for battle? Yeah. But I didn't go through with it. I, I took off. I, I walked around. I went anywhere. I, I did whatever I could to keep myself from killing my brother. Yeah. That's what you told yourself. But there was nothing aimless in that walk you took. You had a purpose, a destination. Think. Isn't it? What are you getting at? Are you asking me to turn in my weapon for testing? I'm asking you to follow procedure. Is everyone else's weapon getting tested? Absolutely. You, me, everyone else, but you let me deal with that. You cannot think I used my gun on Victor Lord. Is this payback for Natalie and me? I don't know what that means. And I sure as hell hope you didn't kill Victor Lord. That'd be bad for all of us. This is the job, Brody. Well, it feels very personal. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. If I ask you nicely, will you comply with the order and surrender your weapon? Yeah, what if I don't? Refusing to do this? Refusing to do what? John wants ballistics to test every sidearm issued to the OPD. What for? I think someone in the department might have killed Victor Lord. Someone? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. The murder weapon was a 9mm. Are you going to cooperate or not? <sighs> this is insane. You're going to test... I'm going to go talk to Uncle... No, Natalie. Go ahead. Test it. I triggered something, didn't I? There's nothing to trigger. I didn't go anywhere near Victor's house that night. What are you doing? Think, Todd. 
think about the storm. It was raining, remember? It was raining. Was it? You were listening for Victor's voice. Then you heard it. Your heart began to pound. You knew he was inside. You knew you had him. I don't know where you're getting all this. None of this happened. No, none of it. None of it. You had the gun in your hand. It was heavy, wasn't it? You tried the door, but it was locked. How did you get in? I didn't. I, I, I didn't. You spotted something. If you had any doubt, it vanished at that moment. Remember that moment, Tom? Let it all come back. Let it all come back. Relax, man. The ballistics done. I'll have an answer any minute. You should never have asked the question. Hey, listen, I'm running down every lead I have to, all right? Because if I don't, some Sharpie defense attorney finds out we didn't, we can kiss a conviction goodbye. Right, you're just being thorough. I'm doing you a favor, Brody. How do you figure that? Better answering those questions here and now than on the stand or in front of internal affairs. <laughs> you know, Vimal Patel has done time at Statesville, and now he says one thing about a cop. I know. I know, but you argued with the man. You argued with him on the day that Victor died, and you still haven't told me why. I am not my son. He's John's. Vimal wasn't accusing me of killing Victor Lord, if that's what you're thinking. Okay. So what are you two shouting about? Don't stop now. You can see it. You're almost there. No. I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm sick, that's all. I, I have a gunshot. Uh, my fever's back, and... None of this is real. You're not real. What you did to Victor, that was real. And I understand why. He took everything. Your home your family, your identity. You had to get it back. So, what did you do? Well, to his office, I went to my office. I told him I want my life back. And he refused. Leaving you just one. Okay, I admit, I lost it, but it had nothing to do with Victor Lord. So let's... You already done? Thank you. Are you okay? I will be. Once the murder charge is dropped. Because whoever Victor was talking to that night, it wasn't Todd. Sorry, John. Sorry to disappoint you, but Brody's gun was not used to kill Victor Lord. Brody's innocent. And that's how you ended up at the door. With the keys in one hand and a gun in the other. You had to get back what was yours. Hello? So, uh... Oh my god, what the hell are you doing here? You take my life, Victor. I take yours. Isn't it good to have your memory back?